All right, in this video, we're going to do another example of solving a system of linear equations involving three equations and three unknowns using Gauss-Jordan. The first thing I'm going to do, again, is just write my system as a matrix. So we have 1, 1, 1, and then positive 4. Uh, we have a 2, a negative 3, 1, and 2. And then we have negative 1 and positive 2 and negative 1 and negative 1. So, all right, well, a couple things here. Um, again, we want to get a 1 in the top left, which we already have. So I'm going to try to get zeros everywhere else. And to do that, I'm going to take negative 2 times row 1, add that to row 2 to get my new row 2. And then I'm going to take just uh, row 1 and add it to row 3 to get my new row 3. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the first row, again, we're not doing anything with, so we have 1, 1, 1, and 4. Let's see, if I take uh, negative 2 times 1, I'll get negative 2 plus 2 will be 0. We'll get negative 2 plus negative 3, which is negative 5. Uh, we'll get negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. We'll get um, a negative 8 plus 2, which will be negative 6. And then to do our last one, we just add row 1 and row 3. So 1 and negative 1 will be a 0. We'll get um, a 1 plus a 2, which will give us 3. 1 plus negative 1 will give us 0. And then 4 plus negative 1 will give us positive 3. All right, so uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to make the middle entry into a, a 1. Uh, to do that, I'm going to, I think, inter interchange row 2 and row 3. I'm just going to switch those out. So if we switch those out, okay, it's not going to make the 1 appear immediately, but, you know, uh, we'll be able to just divide by 3 and then we'll, we'll get it. So we have 1, 1, 1, uh, and 4, leaving the first row alone. I'm going to write uh, the third row now as my second row. And then the second row is going to become the, the third row. Okay, so again, I'm trying to get, um, I want a, a 1 where this 3 is sitting. So I'm just going to take row 2 and divide that by 3, and that's going to become my new row 2. So if we do that, again, the first row is just hanging out, 1, 1, 1, 4. We'll get 0, 1, 0, 1 for our second row now. The third row we're still just leaving alone, 0, negative 5, negative 1, and negative 6. Okay, so now we want to get zeros um, in the first row and in the third row in the second column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take negative 1 times row 2, add that to row 1 to get my new row 1. And then I'm going to take 5 times row 2, add that to row 3 to get my new row 3. So let's see here if we do that. Um, so row 2, it's staying, staying just like it was, so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. Let's see, we'll get a negative... 1 times 0 plus 1 will be 1. We'll get negative 1 plus 1, which will be 0. We'll get 0 plus 1, which is 1. Uh, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 4 will be positive 3. And then let's see, so if we do our, our second step here, uh, 5 times 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 times 1 is 5 plus negative 5 will give us a 0. Uh, 5 times 0 plus negative 1 is still just negative 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Uh, 5 plus negative 6 is going to be negative 1. Okay, so the next thing we would want to do is we want to make the uh, our negative 1 into a positive 1, but we could just take negative 3, or negative 3, uh, negative 1 times row 3 to get our new row 3. And I'm not going to rewrite all this. All that's going to do is make, uh, make those into positive 1s. I think the last thing I'm going to do now, okay, so we want to make our positive 1 into a 0. So I'm going to take negative 1 times row 3, add that to row 1 to get my new row 1, and then I think we'll, we'll have our solution. So let's see, the second row is staying just like it was. The third row is also staying just like it was. 
And if I take negative uh, 1 times row 3 and add it to row 1, we'll get negative 1 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 will be 1. We'll get 0 plus 0, which is 0. We'll get negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. We'll get negative 1 plus 3, which is positive 2. And now we've got our solution. It says 1x equals 2, 1y equals 1, and 1z also equals 1. So again, you can always go back and check if you plug in 2 for x, 1 for y, and 1 for z uh, back in your very original system of, of equations that that does in fact produce a solution.